nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Ain't nothing better than watching you be you. Ain't nothing better than right now. In your eyes lie the secrets I don't wanna miss. Hi, this is Stray Passer, and this is day three of the Horror Man's Challenge Part Two. Okay, day three is uh, uh, tissue. Uh, I think. Well, hold on, I'm sorry. I want to get this right. It's uh, tissue time. Okay, t sorry, tissue time. Things I guess movies that make you cry uh, on TV or movies. And I have two things. Okay, they're both movies. Okay, the first one is a movie with Clint Eastwood and Jeff Bridges called Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Basically about a a group of guys that get together, to, the old crew gets back together to plan this big robbery. And the part that gets to me, this is a spoiler, okay, because this just happens towards the end. Uh, George Kennedy is one of the uh, the robbers in Clint Eastwood's gang. And um, and Jeff Bridges is like the young, you know, young hot shot. He's a real character and stuff. And he's basically teasing George Kennedy, you know, throughout the movie. And towards the end of the movie, George, George Kennedy basically stops him. He basically like puts the boots to him, to Jeff Bridges' character and stuff. And he said, "Oh, geez, you know." But, but you could see this coming a mile away because, like I say, he was basically teasing George Kennedy's character all through the movie. And I guess he, he, he you know, he, he was fed up and had enough, and just, you know, before he left, he just basically, you know, just stomped the crap out of him. And he said, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" And then, but then, you know, they get away, and you see. Uh, uh, Clint Eastwood and Jeff Bridges that you know they're driving away, and but what you don't know or what you're soon to know is that Jeff Bridges, you know him and Clint Eastwood, you know they became buddies and stuff, and they're real close, and you really feel this kinship for um, Jeff Bridges' character, and then you know he's tells he's turned to Clint Eastwood and tell him, you know I really feel, I think I'm trying to remember the exact words what he says, I really feel like we accomplished something, I really feel proud, I really feel like we accomplished something. And then he dies in the car. And it's just like, oh, and that really got to me. I remember seeing that as a little, I don't know when that movie came out, when I saw it, but it just really got to me because he, you know, Jeff Bridges' character was just like, you know, he was a character and you really liked him. And then, you know, you find out that he died basically, I guess, the internal bleeding from George Kennedy stomping him, you know, stomping him, to, you know, stomping on him. And, and he dies right in the car, you know, and that's how it ends with him dying in the car. And, you know, he's telling police, but I really feel like we accomplished something. And then he just dies, and and that moment always gets to me. That's it. Oh, that that really that made made me you know want to grab the tissue and cry because you know you like this character, and then he just up and dies, which is really sad. Okay, now the second movie that in my uh, in this uh, tissue time thing would have to be The Color Purple, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. So this is not a spoiler. Okay, or a spoiler for people who haven't seen it. Okay, um, you know, Whoopi Goldsberg's character and her sister, they get, basically when she, she's, when she marries uh, Danny Glover's character, and then the, uh, I'm trying to remember, he, he sends her away, he throws, he makes her leave. He throws rocks at her, and then you see them separating. You know, she goes away, and she says, why, 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 you know, she's basically, her sister, Whoopi Goldberg's character, his name is Sissy, I can't remember what her character's name is. But her sister's like crying, going, "Why, why?" You know, he's throwing rocks at her to make her leave, and then she, you know, she leaves, and you know, they're sisters, and of course, so they, you know, it's real emotional, and, they, and they're crying, and that part <laughs> almost got to me. And then, towards the end of the movie, where she gets reunited with her sister, her sister's, you know, it's like how many years later, and she's reunited with her sister, and then she introduces her 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 kids to. I'm trying to. Are they? I can't remember if they were Whoopi Goldberg's kids that she introduced it to, or her kids. But at any event, you know, they reunited. The sisters reunite, and it's real emotional. And that part really got to me. It really, is really a good emotional part to that movie, the Color Purple, because I have a lot of mixed emotions about the Color Purple. You know, it's a really good movie, but in, you know, I hate movies that that show black people struggle. Not that I don't like. You know, 
uh, you know, that's a historical thing. You know, but I hate to see uh, black people get mistreated in movies. But you know, it's you know, it's part of the experience. So you have to, you know, you, you know, you have sometimes you have to put up with it. But that part got to me. It really, you know, that emotion when they got reunited. That that was just so touching and a perfect end to that movie. And that's why Color Purple was a great movie. Uh, which totally got robbed at the Oscars, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so that's day three of the Horror Man's Challenge. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Uh, okay, so please let me know what you think of my two choices. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.